<laughs> you love me? No. Not even a little bit. <laughs> The story of Sylvia is a great story. It literally happens between two realms or, or one way or the other, two worlds. I think that the industry needs a lot more writing like this. It's got its moments where it thrills you. It's got its moments where you will absolutely fall in love with the character. So it's the kind of script that you know any actor would, would want to jump at. Oh, I love this script so much. It's very different, you know. Two different audiences can enjoy this, you know. You can be like the layman and just come and enjoy, you know, some aspects about it. And then there's also an intellectual sense that I love. So I'm really hopeful everyone enjoys it as much as I did. So, what about us? What about us? What we have, silly. What do we have? So the first thing that I thought when I read um, the script, I asked myself if Sylvia was a real person or if she was just a figment of Richard's imagination. So I was excited about that. But when I read the script, it was, it was fantastic. I think it has a mixture of what we're used to and something that we're not used to. So I was really excited about that. It has this element of um, sci-fi kind of fantasy and I really enjoy making movies like that. I remember when um, someone gave me the script and I read it, I was like, whoa. You know, like this is the best screenplay I've ever read. And why would I want to be a part of the best screenplay I've ever read? You know, so I feel very honored and privileged to to have been a producer for such a project. It's not just a Nigerian film. It's a good film that would revel any good film anywhere in the world. Ooh, yeah, for, ooh, yeah, for. You look like diamond shining tin, no? If you tell me go, I go, go. Oh, no, yeah! Oh, 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 I think it might be hard for some people to love Sylvia. I think there are certain things that she does and, and reasons behind why she does those things that people can relate with. We've all experienced our first heartbreak. I, I think Richard might have been um, Sylvia's first um, full heartbreak. And in that, like you, you go through so many different wealth of emotions. You're angry, you're sober, you just feel weak. And I think every woman will be able to identify with that. Richard! Richard's character is a typical sweet guy, you know, he's, he's the guy who's trying to make it in the world, but he gets some assistance from other realms. And um, this is okay and normal up until he finds love in his real world. So I played Bimi. Bimi is Richard's wife and I feel like she brings the heart in this film. She's like a ray of sunshine and um, she's very quirky. Her foundation is who she is with Richard and that chemistry with Richard had to be so profound and I love her sense of humor. I love how subtle she is. I love the chemistry she has with her husband. She makes me smile. I have to say, <laughs> she makes me laugh literally. For the actor, it's truly uh, important when we represent other lives. I think that the characters we play would always have um, bits and pieces of us, the actor, you know, and vice versa. And for us, the actor, if you can look at the character and see something that you can relate to, then that's my job done. So I think that anyone out there would find a little bit of themselves in Richard. You know, those moments where you're not as confident, those moments where you are over the top confident, those moments where you just want to follow your heart. Ooh, yeah, fall, ooh, yeah, fall. You look like diamond 
A couple of reasons why I jumped on the script. First of all, it was coming from a production studio that were very professional. They are coming into the industry with a new style. So that, first of all, was some of the motivation. And secondly, when I discovered the director I was going to be working with had some sort of psychological depth, you know, as a person, then you now apply most of those things in the way he wants to tell the story. I was really motivated. I had seen what uh, Trino Studios had done before now, which was a list of commendable short films. And um, when they approached me that they wanted to make their first feature film, I felt very privileged and honored to do it. Why I wanted to be a part of this production is that it's Trino Studios. I mean, anything Trino Studios is magic, you know? So I like being a part of magic. I think they did a very good job with the casting. I enjoyed filming every actor. Most of the sets, we had to create them. One of the things that can't leave my head was the fancy restaurant. And it would be nice to see what the place looked like before and what we made out of it. Working with Trino Studio, they were very particular about having a very detailed preparation process. And um, that took probably four to five months. I think that Trino Studios holds a lot of promise, you know, one way or the other. Um, it's going to be a force to be reckoned with in this industry. Ooh, yeah, fall, ooh, yeah, fall. Do you understand me, Sophie? <laughs> I am trying to build a life with my family. <laughs> oh, honey. How poetic. Please. The only mistake here is your wife, not me. My wife comes in right now. What am I going to do? <laughs> The genre of the film is what you call a supernatural thriller. So there are a lot of films I took as references to make this film. Films from the 70s and 80s. Daniel is very, very thorough with his um, with his characterization and he had us watching um, a number of films. This is a very ambitious project. I think people will see it from two perspectives. Um, they will see it from probably an African perspective and a medical perspective. But I think it's a film that will make people ask questions about what exactly was the problem with the main character of the film. It's my first time working with this particular director and the producers as well. First time collaborating, so everything has been swell. Everyone brought something extraordinary to the table. I can't even, if I start with the director and the DP, I don't think I'm going to leave this chair. But honestly, it was such a pleasure working with them. I think we became a big fat family and I cannot wait to work with this set of people again. I loved it, for real, I'm not just saying that. With filmmaking, it's, it's always a family. You know, it's, it's a family of two weeks or three weeks and then it's not and it's always harder when you're, you're, you're wrapping up and, you know, and saying goodbye. And um, I think on this set we had some very amazing people, you know. There was a lot of great chemistry between the crew and actors per se on set. You know, everyone from every department was constantly challenging themselves as to how they can make things better. What? Are you okay? Yeah. Just the, uh, the idea of it uh, having some supernatural element to it, I think people are going to be blown away by that. So the fact that we have a good story, awesome performance, and the, the cast and crew, awesome production value, top notch, I have no doubt. No doubt whatsoever in my mind. But is Sylvia real or is she not? Is Richard crazy? <laughs> what is he saying? I think those are two things that people will be left with after watching the movie. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, hi, my name is Daniel Mekari Ahi. I'm a Nigerian filmmaker and I'm the director of the feature film Sylvia. Hi, it's Rob Sylvia, guys! <laughs>
know they talk 